ChatGPT now has deep research and agents, but many people don't know when to use which. I'll break it down. For deep research, click the plus button and select deep research to switch it on. When you prompt ChatGPT now, it doesn't just give you a quick answer. It'll dig deep into articles, PDFs, the internet, even your own files if you add them. Use it to study complex topics like sciences, finance, gather deep knowledge across multiple topics. Example, competitor research. Give it your website plus competitor links and ask, what are they doing differently? It breaks it down like a strategist. Now agents are a whole different beast. They don't just think, they act. When you activate agent mode, it can open a virtual workspace. It can browse the web, scroll pages, click buttons, log into accounts you approve, even run code or create documents, all from a single prompt. I wanted to search for 50 companies in a certain industry in a certain country on LinkedIn. Manually, that would take hours. I made the agent search through the profiles, extract the information I needed, and build a table out of it. 30 minutes later, while I was speaking to a client on Zoom, it was done. In plain English, deep researchers for deep understanding of a single topic, while agents are for multitasking actions. But heads up, agents in ChatGPT are far from perfect. It struggles with captures, gets stuck sometimes, or needs your input mid-task. Like brilliant interns, really useful but still learning. Try these features out, they make ChatGPT quite powerful if used right.